What's up guys, back again with another video. Today we're watching Secret Invasion episode three. Let me know down in the comments below what you're thinking of this show and if you're enjoying it or not, give it thumbs up, thumbs down. While you're doing that, maybe give the video a thumbs up as well and really appreciate it if you give it a like. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already. And to make sure my average view duration of this video isn't too short, let's just get straight into the reaction. Everyone ready? Uh-huh. Yep, got me tea, I'm ready. Oh, is this everybody they're gonna be disguising themselves as? Oh, that's cool get to familiarize themselves with their character. Talk about method acting. You get to literally become the person. Ah, the machine. This looks like something that's going to open up the multiverse. I know they're not going to do that, obviously, in the show. But that's just, this is what it looks like, isn't it? You can imagine it spinning around really fast and then just cracks in reality. Well, you know, it, Doctor Strange is here trying to clean this shit up. Oh, is that him? Oh, no. That'd have been good timing, eh? Ah, and random and unexpected. I sent three operatives to infiltrate the Royal Navy. Time to change. Why not change before and then like you're less likely to be spotted? Oh, I don't know. Claim this planet as our home is to become super ourselves. See, super scrolls, just go. No just... We change powers. Yeah, that's what I want to see, baby. Super scrolls, he said the thing. In the extinction of the human race. Okay, I really like how we're picking up the pace. We're just going straight into it in this episode. That green going across the earth in the title credits. They're taking over. Ooh, flashback. Okay, 1998. Looking for someone? Oh, we all. What does she look like? That depends on what day of the week it is. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. If it's a scroll, then pretty hard to answer that question. This new face of yours is kind of cute. He's thinking, oh yeah, you know, getting to see the origins of their relationship. Who is she? So that is someone else's face. That's an intriguing possibility. This is what I said like last week. Like, how do they decide on their face? Like, is it always somebody else, or do they just create a face? We really don't care, because she's cute, so... Mm. Good morning. No crazy lizard sex last night. It has been years. It's been years? If you want me to apologize for being gone, Scylla, just say so. You should have done it anyway. You, you are Nick Fury. You left your wife I for years. I never harbored any illusions about the necessity of you going away oh, yeah okay i guess but you do what you signed up for but still that leaves a mark yeah man again I'm, i rarely side with fury so far in this series and on any kind of debate you been in touch with Gravin while i was gone and why are you asking me that because i just need to be sure about mm. what who you become mm. if you're interested in who i became in your second absence i became me you are so the sleeping on the couch. Before you, when you kept disappearing as if you were never really here in the first place. Again, this is just the Siri of Fury letting everybody down. <laughs> Everyone just shitting on him. Oh, I love it. I'm thinking as well, like, I know I go on about this every week, but was she Maria Hill and Far From Home? I don't have that information at hand right now. Oh, no, see, that wasn't her. Sorry, I had to look it up, which I should have done before within the last two weeks. But it was another scroll called Soren. So, huh. What is it? <clears throat> What's happened? You can wear green when you go to bed. Everyone just, all the scrolls just wear green 24 7. I'm a good liar. Mm -hmm. Bruh. Your father called for a parley. Apparently, we're meeting above you. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> the UN plane will be at Neptune's coordinates 2200 hours. <laughs> That's definitely a fake out. He's testing her. That's definitely a fake out. He, she's just exposing herself with that. He's given a fake coordinates to know it was her. You asked for Pali, so let's Pali, shall we? I swear he's getting more and more Welsh. Maybe the anger he's getting is the Welsh accent's going out more. Alright, mate, calm down. He did that in the first episode. I remember he put about 50 sugars in his tea. I like a little bit of espresso with my sugar. You should be grateful that I haven't sent that back to you in a body bag yet. <laughs> Oh, that's such a sick scene. So which one is him? Are they all him? No, I mean, like, is that actually him? Because they're all him? That's the thing with scrolls. How do you know you're really talking to? I'm going to tell every army on Earth who it is that's attacking them. He's got to kill you now, Taylor. That guy stays with me, then, is it? It's pretty tough ones to react to that. End of time. Just, just kill him. Just you kill him be easier, wouldn't it? Just should have. Oh. Fucking hell, mate. Oh! Extremis! 
That's extremis. Or he's Iron Fist now, but I'm pretty sure that's extremis. All right, it's a good job he didn't stab him then in the throat. I believe. Oh, that's his yours. daughter. That's definitely it's got the coordinates on it. That's a lot of tomatoes on a fry up. Anyone that could say what you said to me yesterday have the balls to come up in here and ask me for help? I didn't ask you for help. This is what I don't get, right? Like, <laughs> if this was me, I'd just be permanently paranoid. I'd be thinking, is that even Nick Fury? Or is this, you know, Gravik just as disguised as Nick Fury? Like, how do you ever know if anyone is who I actually appear to be? Like, it feels like everyone just takes it to, like, takes their word for it, you know? Everyone takes it for granted that they presume the person they're talking to is who they claim to appear to be. Sorry, is he having a Coke or something Same with an English way. breakfast? That's just, what the hell, man? Aliens, I guess. Help Am I right? I'm going to need you to, you know, use your words. Because I'm useless without you. Help me, Talos. Because I am useless without you. Now call me daddy. I hate it when people leave food. Neptune is a British sub. I know who to call. Hello, yeah, it's me here in Britain. Because you rather rudely attached a nasty bug to my beloved hoot. Tell me <laughs> that's not the name of that owl clock. She finally found Seymour it. Seymour has a new name now. Nicholas Fury. He has a little <laughs> dashing <laughs> eye patch now. Oh, I love that. Sir, you know what? I, I don't get the whole dog thing. What? You get, you know, dog's a man's best friend. Yeah. But I mean, come on. Name me one other interspecies relationship where it's acceptable to clean up the other guy's poop. I've been cleaning up your poop for the last 30 some years. Oh, so, I think it's all the way around, actually. Uh, yeah. You've been cleaning up my mess. It's been the you opposite. Different take on it? Oh, well, let's, yeah. let's see. When I came here in 1995, you were just a bench warming nobody in a dumpy field office in Shield. Bench Ooh. warming? You, what, did you have a different <laughs> you said take bench on what? You didn't start ascending the ranks until me and 19 of my people signed on as your invisible spy network. You know, we mm. fed you more dirt than in got into where he is. You could, every time you were promoted inside Shield, we did that. Wow. Every terror attack you prevented, we did that. Oh every, shit, okay. Every... Makes you wonder how they didn't reveal Hydra earlier. At least you can do it. It's not rewrite history. When the guy who helped ride it with you the first time, sitting right next to you. Team Talos, minus the dog. Point of view. We're here. My I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. No, that's because you were too busy riding the uh, We Did That <laughs> wave. You got any more abuse you want to hurl my way? Or are you ready to go in here and take care of Bob? <laughs> and then I get to say, we did that. We can do that. I am loving the buddy cop dynamic between these two. More of that in this show. That'd be great, please. Don't let her hear you say that. I don't know what he spoke like. So I just left you. This is me on hit, man. Immediately gets caught. Has to knock someone out. Ends up having to knock the whole map out. Did he kill him? Man, Fury, you could have used a taser or something, or some sort of knockout weapon. Nah, he's just killing people. Okay. These are innocent people. Oh, duh. I just realized they're the three guys from the beginning. Obviously disguised themselves. Okay, yeah, yeah. Is that me? Oh, no, it's not me. I thought that was me, like, streaming or something. Sorry, Nick. I was busy kicking Bob's ass. Second floor. Last door down the hall. Is it a trap? Has Bob made him say that? Nobody yeah. thought calls so. me Nick Bob. <laughs> just interrupted Bro's Twitch stream. When you let my son go, this is not a negotiation, Bob. <laughs> this is not your son. You're not the father. Poor kid. Can't seem to get old Bob here to listen to reason. Right, his finger off. That's what Olivia Coleman would do. If you're afraid of going against Gravik, I could protect you. You couldn't protect yourself coming through that door. Got him! Why don't you shapeshift back into this piece of trash and call in on a board on that missile strike? Right yeah, on, actually. Why do I think of that? Yeah. Maybe because he's the only one who knows the code word. Yeah, okay. He would have stood by you proudly. So stand with me now. 
You're too late. Enough of this bull. <laughs> I'm giving you three seconds. Give me that gun. You got minutes to. He might not give you the code. Gold. He'll die for you it. You can't make your friend here tell him. You can't even keep your daughter's loyalty, or is she the spineless traitor feeding you information? I thought he was going to do that. Well, he turned quick, so he really, really was on the scroll. It's ironic she's playing chess there when she's playing 4D chess what with everybody it? in this. You might as well try and do it with the voice of the dude. You never know. Cognitive guy. Well, what can we do? Well, she's going to have to kill them now, they know. Maybe she could say someone disguised themselves as them. Or maybe she's just going to get the hell out of there now. Literally searches memories, oh my god. Imagine finding some weird fetish shit amongst all that. <laughs> and that's the look she gives him. You got it? Now run. What is it, his son's name? Abort launch. Abort launch. Oh. And he's exposed himself. Everyone's exposing themselves. I'm going to expose... <laughs> no, I'm joking. She's totally going to get caught. I'm not with Gravik, because I'm with you. No. Oh, girl. We're so gonna get caught. I can feel it coming. There we go. Yeah, he's always known. I'll be shocked if he kills her if they kill her off. Finding the traitor was essential. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, turn around. No. This is the second time in a TV show that I've watched that Amelia Clark hasn't wanted to turn around for a guy. If you if you know, you know. Or a worst enemy. Oh. oh. I was going to say, I hope she dies. Not because I don't like her, I really like her, but I just thought it would be a great twist. That's ballsy as fuck, man. Holy shit. That is ballsy. I thought killing Maria Hill was ballsy, which it was, but this is even more shocking because I've only just brought her into the MCU and she's a big actress and a big character in this. That's ballsy, man. Holy shit. Hey, what's going on here? She's, got, she's growing weed, guy. What's going on? This is how she's got all the money to have that big house. Drug dealing over here. Where are you off to? Obvious spy is obvious. What are you retrieving? Oh, okay. She could have kept that in the house, no? Is it me or is it a bit, a bit excessive to go to all these lamps just to hide a gun? There's got to be more to this. Or is it not her gun? St. James Church, one hour. Oh, Rodi. I need to speak to Gravik. Yeah, well, you're talking to me. What's going on, man? We're not implying Rodi's a scroll, are we? Nah. Why are you dumb? Is that? Why would? Why would she say that to Rodi? I did. Oh, I said. I swear. I swear. I said it last time. I think Rodi could be a scroll. I mean, Rhodey's high up. He's high up with influence. Um, damn. For me, that's the best episode so far. That went super quick. Uh, from fr Straight from the off, we were, boom, straight into it. This is what's going on. We're up at the ante. The pacing's going to be on it. Just faster paced, everything. I, I love that episode. They had the perfect blend of tension, of drama, and then they had the comedy with Fury and Talos. And it, it, it wasn't even like comedy for the sake of comedy. Like They have a genuine relationship. They're a friendship. And they do have clear love for each other and respect for each other, despite all of their... They're, they're like brothers, you know, despite all of their differences and, you know, they've pissed each other off endless amount of times. Uh, and they, they they clearly respect and love each other a lot and have got each other's backs. Um, so I really appreciate that relationship being more than just, uh, you know, comedy or Marvel quippy for the sake of it. Like, it feels genuine to me. I love that. Um, I'd love to see more of their buddy cop like i said buddy cop type interactions as for the standout thing for me of the obvious is is guy's death but it was actually the extremist part for me uh where where graphic is stabbed in the hand and then he just heals himself that's why i think it didn't hurt him that much um not just because he was a scroll because he's kind of a super scroll now i don't know if he's like made himself sort of patient zero i guess like he's because not all scrolls are like this yet it's their plan to become super scrolls but Maybe he's allowed himself to be experimented on, or at least in early stages of it. I can imagine him being the kind of guy who like lets a few other scrolls get tested on first as cannon fodder until he's completely sure. Treat him as lab rats, he's that kind of dude, you know, sacrifice him for the greater good. 
but um, yeah, I loved how he, uh, I'm looking at my hand like it's actually cut on what I'm doing, uh, but you know, I love how it, it kind of healed itself like that as the hint of Extremis, so I hope we're going to see more of that, like more of his kind of new powers and what they're going to do uh, going forward. Maria Hill is definitely dead, that's been confirmed now, because she did not turn straight away, we saw that general dude um, get shot, was it Fairbanks, Bob got shot, instant scroll transformation, uh, she didn't do that, so you know, she was definitely human. Um, yeah, so R.I.P. I'm still very much confused about the, the Far From Home thing. That was just some other random scroll who I don't think we've seen since. Would have made more sense if that was Fury's right? wife. Wife. Fury's wife, which it isn't, which is uh, interesting. Um, maybe it is. Maybe I've missed that part. I can't remember Fury's wife's name. I think it's Vara, is it not? Everyone has similar names for me, like Vara, Gaia. Like it's all kind of. Um, I'm not good with names. I'm better with faces, which isn't the best thing when you're dealing with people who are swapping them all the time. We are officially at the halfway point of the show now. This is episode three, the six in total. My thoughts, you say? Firstly, I really liked the background we had on Nick Fury's story of how he got to the position he was in. Basically having this spy network of scrolls to kind of make him the greatest spy on the planet. I mean, you kind of have to be, right? If you're the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. or, you know, be Nick fucking Fury. And I love how as a spy he was able to have all this information that nobody else could possibly have because he had this scroll network that only he knew even existed. I felt like that was a really nice touch of detail that really added to Fury's story. Um, so my next question is, are all of the board members Super Scrolls 2? At the start, we saw Gravik meet them all and tell them about how the plan is to become Super Scrolls. But was he just telling them, or did he bring them all the way there just for that? Because I feel like he brought them all the way there to give them their powers. So really, my question is, is he the only one with these powers after we saw the whole Extremist thing? Or are they all Super Scrolls now, at least on the board, on the higher level? Or is it just him? One thing I do want to mention as well, which has kind of got me really intrigued and excited, is the Daisy Johnson return rumours. There's rumours going around online about her inclusion in the show. Now, I don't really know where they've come from, to be honest. I honestly think it's just come from a mix of Chloe Bennett been teasing her return to Marvel for a while, and fans just having a bit of wishful thinking and wanting to make it happen, you know, like they do like a fan cast thing, which is pretty much how John Krasinski ended up being uh, Mr. Fantastic in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I think there might be some connection with Daisy Johnson or Quake as she's otherwise known um, with the Secret Invasion story in the comics. I'm not convinced I'm right about this, so please do feel free to correct me in the comments below because I also really want to know. Um, but off the top of my head, I know she led the Secret Warriors not only in the comics, but also in the show, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, but um, um, is that tied to the Secret Invasion story? Is that adding a bit of fuel to the fire because her character was maybe a bit pivotal in the in the story, in the comics? I don't know. The only other thing I can think of, and also, spoiler for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., my bad, I'll give you a minute to quickly pause this. That show did end up with her up in space, uh, carrying on or starting S.H.I.E.L.D., S.W.O.R.D., whatever it is. And obviously Fury's been doing the same thing and that will be featured a lot more in the Marvels movie as well by the looks of it. Now I was a massive fan of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I did a video a while ago about how I believe it's not canon anymore to Greater MCU and oh my god did people get pissed off about that. Like calm down guys, it's just the show, okay? <laughs> I, I'm not advocating for it not to be canon or part of it. I love the show, but I'm just telling you what I think is true. I don't think it's part of the, the canon or timeline anymore. I mean, Disney Plus pretty much confirms it. It has it in the legacy section, which is basically like the alumni section. But regardless, I would love a Daisy Johnson appearance. I would lose my shit, basically, if that happened. And you'll see it in my reaction if it happens in, I'm guessing, like episode six. I mean, I would be sat here questioning, thinking, how the hell does this work with the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. timeline, but I'm sure we could work it out, and I honestly, at the moment, short-term thinking, I feel like it's worth it just to have the surprise. You know that feeling when you get when you watch, not even just Marvel, but any movie or show in general, and there's these rumours about something really out there that could happen, and then they actually do it, and you're sat there being like, I can't believe they actually did this, like, they, they, oh, it's the best. God, James, you're looking like such a TV and movie nerd right now. But obviously I'm sat here talking about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And if you are confused about all the different Marvel shows and the timelines and how this all fits together, check out this video I did make a while ago. It really does explain things, I think, quite well because people seem to tell me that and people really enjoyed it. So check it out, see if it helps you. And obviously you can always drop a comment here if you have any questions about anything or on that video. So let me know what you think of that and drop it a like. The next question, is Gaia, Amelia Clark really dead? I think yes, she is, sadly. 
could she have been using like a bulletproof vest? Always use protection. Um, maybe like she could have been shot and then when she was on the ground she turned herself into a scroll to make it look like that happened because she died. I'm pretty sure we saw blood though come out. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a bulletproof vest that's just the top layer of fake blood. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she'll come back with a really cool entrance like Billy Loomis style. Corn syrup. Same stuff they use for pig's blood and carry. But honestly, yeah, I think I think she's dead. I mean, sounds like a big call saying that, because obviously you expect her maybe not to be dead. It's a weird one. It feels like it's more of a plot twist that she is dead, because again, killing off such a big character and actor that you've just brought them into the MCU. But yeah, I honestly, I, I do feel like, like she is dead. But at the same time, I could see a big kind of plot twist reveal thing where she comes back at the end to save the day and aha, you know, so. In regards to Rhodey being a scroll, hmm. I mean, obviously he's a scroll. I mean, am I the only one that could see how different he looks from Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 2? I mean, come on. I'm joking, of course, but I, I can't actually remember. This is really annoying now, and no one's going to believe me. I can't remember if last week if I kept it in the video where I speculated on Brody being a scroll. I think I might have took it out for time constraints or I spoke over something more important in the episode. Um, but it did it did cross my mind. Hmm... Um, is Rhodey a scroll? Well, I remember saying to myself when I was watching the episode, and again, I think I edited this out of the video, it was interesting that he already knew about the scrolls. And if you remember, he spoke about a secret project of when he discovered the scrolls. Um, and I remember saying, oh, he knew about them during Iron Man 2. Um, which, if you look at the date he mentioned, would have placed him, ironically enough, in between Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 2. Uh, so maybe my theory is right. But like I said before, he is in a high position of power, which is very much a scroll thing to, to do. They want to be in those positions, as we've seen already. Uh, he has a lot of influence. I mean, he's acting fury. I'm genuinely leaning towards him being a scroll. Yeah, I think that might be part of wishful thinking, because I really, really love the idea of somebody being revealed to have been a scroll. I'm sorry been revealed to a bit of scroll throughout the entire MCU or at least a great chunk of it. I think Brody's a good candidate for that. Um again with the whole position of power and he's not he's not too high a personality to have been revealed as a scroll all along, like too big a character, not personality too big a character. Uh but at the same time he's big enough as well for it to be like oh damn Rhodey you know you could look back on old MCU projects and be like he's a scroll the whole time. That's crazy. I love that idea. So I, I kinda hope he is a scroll and I, I think I'm pretty confident he is. They are going to reveal that he is, yeah. Alright, so I'll leave you with this question. We've had two shock deaths so far in this series. Obviously Maria Hill and Gaia. Now, big question. Do you think they could really, really do something huge here and kill off Nick Fury in this series? I know, I know, he's going to be in the Marvels and everything that's coming up. But I think that might be set before Secret Invasion if you look at the trailer and stuff. And, and I don't know, you can never trust Marvel trailers, but just the way it all seems to be working out seems to be set before Secret Invasion. And I think it was originally meant to come out before this as well. So I'm pretty sure that movie is set before the Secret Invasion show. And I don't know, the way it's going, they're, they're pulling all these triggers on big calls. Could you see him doing the ultimate one, killing off the main character and someone who has been in the MCU since the first movie? Um, in the post credits, obviously, and tease the Avengers. I'd love to see it again. I mean, not not that I dislike Nick Fury. I'd, I'd happily keep him in, him in the MCU for as long as Samuel Jackson wants to play him. But I think at the same time, it'd be like, damn. It really puts emphasis on these Disney Plus series, you know, when they do something big. Kind of like they did at the end of Loki. And kind of like they did a little bit in WandaVision, you know, where it had a big impact in future MCU movies. So, hmm. I think they should do it. Let me know below what you think. But yeah, other than that, absolutely loved it. I thought this episode killed. I can't wait for next week. So tempted to even just watch the next one right now because I'm playing catch up and just film this back to back. I might. I don't know. Who knows? You'll know because you can go and see the next video straight away. The link will be down in the... The link to it will be down in the description below and you can go check out my other reactions as well of episodes one and two and make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe we just reached 400 followers which i'm so happy about uh the goal now is road to 500 let's go be part of it be join the group we'd love to have you around and hopefully i'll see you in the next one i don't believe in destiny i just do what's best for me don't listen to my enemies they're just full of jealousy yeah this legacy you gon' see what's left of me you gon' see success in me you ain't seen the rest i just want to be the best at what i know better than the rest just watch me grow put me to the test and watch me go this is my quest i'ma make it known they call me obsessive oh i know call me selective with my nose.